What's up guys, we're back after Katsukon. We had a great time, it was really fun. However, I am absolutely exhausted from working on the jump jets all of last week. In total, I worked 92 hours between my full-time job and working at home. So I wanted to take a break from working on my cosplay to work on another project that I've really been wanting to do for a while. Now you're probably thinking, what is this new project I never asked about? Well, too bad, I'm gonna tell you anyways. So the next project is gonna be another Apex Legends project. I love working on Apex stuff. I barely even play the game anymore because I'm always working on stuff. But I wanted to take a break from actual cosplay stuff and I wanted to not have to work as hard on a project so, because I'm an idiot, I'm signing myself up to try and do a 24-hour build to turn this airsoft gun into the RE-45 from Apex Legends. Now, I never played airsoft growing up because I always played paintball. We had a field about 15 minutes away from my house and I worked there for a few years. But there's a few reasons I'm going with airsoft instead of paintball for this build and the R-301. So the biggest reason that I'm going with airsoft over paintball is the strength of the parts. Um, 3D printed parts can only hold so much pressure, uh, only take so much damage before they break. Uh, it's not as strong as resin casting where every little bit of the material is attached to another bit of material. The layers and 3D prints will likely cause issues with the high pressures that paintball uses. Uh, paintballs are this large, this is a .68 caliber paintball, so it's .68 of an inch. This is a 6 millimeter BB. Uh, you can tell how much smaller they are, and it means the airsoft BB is going to require less to reach the same speed that a paintball will reach. Both shoot around 300 uh, feet per second, so your airsoft BB is going to require a lot less pressure. The second reason I'm going with airsoft over paintball is the size of the parts in the gun. So like I said, paintballs are much larger than airsoft guns. So this is an airsoft pistol, and this, is, this one can also shoot full auto, which I also like. Uh, this is my paintball pistol. You can see the sizes of these are much different. This takes up way more room than I really have for an RE45. This is about the size I want. So it works out, uh, I can use this, it'll be a lot more dimensionally accurate for an RE45 and the weight should be more accurate as well. Um, I love paintball, but Airsoft's gonna be this project. So we're gonna act like the magazine didn't fall out. Anyways, so the next thing with this project is, like I said, I wanna build in under 24 hours. So I'm gonna start at 1.30 today on the design for the uh, shell that's gonna replace this top one. And hopefully we'll get it done by 1.30 tomorrow. So what all I'm planning to do is first, we're gonna make the design to replace this top piece. Luckily on this gun, top piece comes off, makes it really easy to design a new one. Um, then we are going to hopefully print it and paint it. I don't know about sanding, we're going to see if we have time, but I want to try and do this in under 24 hours. So it is kind of risky, but this is the filament I'm going with because this is about the only PETG I have. Uh, this is Ziltec PETG. Uh, this color, for some reason, does not like to print well, but it's all I have in PETG, so it looks like this is what we're going with. Alright, now to wait 15 minutes and then we can start on our project. I should have just started at 115. What are, you, what are you still doing here? Just skip. You can skip. I can't skip. I have to wait. You can skip. Oh, it's 130. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start taking this apart. Um, if I cannot waste my time. Uh, I'm going to try and do this quickly, but you know, save time for today. We'll see how late I have to stay up. I want to finish this by 1.30 tomorrow, and that includes painting. And if I have time to sand, we'll sand it too, but I don't know about that. The plan for the time frame right now is to get this design tonight, print it tomorrow, uh, wake up tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'll be able to set it to a lower layer height so that way we can get better quality and I don't have to do as much. Um, if I have time to sand, we'll sand and then we'll paint. Uh, we'll probably go with a red and black paint job, as I do with all my stuff. I, just, I'm a fan of that paint. 
So I took the two screws out that were holding the sight in, and what that does is that releases the bolt, and this is one of the main things we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna need to measure. Uh, the next thing to do is gonna be take this front piece out, which contains the barrel. So we're gonna unscrew this, unscrew this. Takes a while, I'm not a fan, but hey, that's what we gotta do. All right, there we go. So we have our two screws out, and now what we can do, oh, no, am I missing something? I don't think I'm missing anything. There we go. Let's just pull it right out of the front. Um, now we have to take these two screws out, which are on the side right here. Oh, and I need my other screw head right here. The issue, I hate this kit. If you ever see this kit, don't buy it. It's not worth it. Um, if you open the lid too fast, it just kind of shoots your bits everywhere, which as you can imagine is not helpful, especially when I'm on a time crunch, exactly like I am right now. All right, well, hopefully we have parts in here. Do we? I think this is it. Yeah, well, it works when you have parts. So, these are the two parts we're really worried about. This has to be able to slide back on this little rail, push, and then come back in and sit in here. So these are the two parts we gotta make sure work functionally, or work correctly. All right, and then it is time to take this and start measuring in our CAD program, so. So the first thing I want to design is the internals of the airsoft gun. That way in the CAD program, I already have something to work around. I did go ahead and cut some of the designing because I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch CAD for like minutes at a time. I know you guys want to see the actual product being built. So now we have our bolt design. That'll help us later on when I'm designing everything else to go around it. So next we need to go ahead and design our upper receiver. This is going to house all the airsoft parts and also be the base to which all the detail parts are going to go on to. All right, so we finished designing our test version of the upper. The most important thing here is to use it and see if everything fits properly. All right, so this did not fit into here the way I wanted it to. Um, the tolerance is just a little tight. I think if I can open the bottom up here, which like it's supposed to do, I think it'll be a better fit. So I'm gonna go ahead, send the new version to the P1P. Um, hopefully that'll work and we'll be able to go ahead and get uh, the second version, or the second test fit, which should be done in about an hour and seven minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat, uh, try and use my time wisely so that I can try and get this done by tomorrow like I wanted. Um, yeah, I, until 1.30 tomorrow, we're at 3.51 right now, and hopefully we'll be able to get this done. So we are on hour four of this, and this didn't work. Um, I The bolt is just a tad bit too big because I didn't realize some of the stuff sticks out a little more. So the bolt was getting stuck, and I kept thinking it was getting stuck on this edge. So uh, I have a new one, hopefully about to start. Uh, so I'm trying to make the detail while I'm waiting for that, or waiting for that print. So I'm trying to make the detail parts without uh, requiring them to be perfect to some of this, hopefully. Uh, that way even, that way I can keep working while the test one is printing. Shit. We are four hours and 15 minutes into the 24 hour build project. We're gonna see if we're gonna make it. I'm hoping, but we're gonna see. Um, right now, our test one is getting close. It's not where I want it to be, but it is getting close. Um, I haven't tried putting it in here, but the bolt, it is just too small to fit the 
bolt in here, so I changed some of that. Hopefully that'll fix it. We'll see how it fits into here real quick. Yeah, so I may have done that wrong, but that doesn't matter, does it? Because we have to get this right. So we're on hour four and a half, and while it's not going as well as it could, we're at least to the point where the internals fit into this makeshift body of R45. Still a lot to do. Don't know if it's going to get done in time. However, this is a big step is that it's fitting. Now, it's a tight fit, so I had to loosen that up a little bit, and hopefully that'll fix a few of the issues this is having. But right now, I don't want to jinx it, but it is doing, it's doing what it's supposed to right now. So we might be able to get away with it. And I can get this bolt to go back and forth how it should and get this to lock in place. Should be good enough. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's how our four or four and a half is going. So, we'll see. All right, so we're on hour six. I have a bit of the detail design. Uh, I have a test print on the P1P right now, and it's kind of looking iffy if I'll get this done before I go to bed tonight. But it's very 50-50 if I can pull this off or not in 24 hours. So I will probably wake up at 6 o'clock tomorrow, which is what I, I just normally wake up. Um, we'll see. That, all I can say is we'll see. I have no idea if we're going to make it on time, but we'll see. It is now close to 11 o'clock. I think I have most of the parts done. Um, I had to do a little bit more modification to this last one. That way. Because I printed it shorter so I could print it faster. Um, we're going to see. It's going to be cutting it close and I need to sleep. So, yeah, we're going to hope this will work. If anything, the P1P is fast enough to reprint it tomorrow morning. But for now, it is sending to the P1P and should start printing after I go to bed. So I'm just going to stay up, make sure the files download all right and the print starts okay. In the morning, maybe we have a RE45 body to put on the AAP-01 airsoft pistol. So, yeah, this, we'll see. So it is 6.30 in the morning, and 6.40, I just woke up. Uh, the print's done, so we're going to take that off and see how it went. See if these parts are accurate. And maybe this will work. We'll see. So let me go grab the parts. So we have the parts here from the P1P. Okay, so these off. That's the smaller parts that I built. I realized yesterday I forgot to record some of my CAD drawing. That's a big issue. I don't think y'all want to watch CAD the entire time. But it's just going to get sped up anyways. But yeah, so we have a lot of support to remove off of here. That's our main piece. Our muzzle. Which I don't know why it put so many supports there. Probably could have gotten away with no supports on it. So I think I'll reprint that. Uh, our top rail, which is a Picatinny rail, so you can put whatever sights you want on it. And this little blocker will keep it from, uh, keep it, the bolt from coming back out. So yeah, um, oh, okay, that's the little bit, I just got to read that for a sec. So yeah, let me get everything up of this, and then, uh, we'll see. <sighs> we'll see if that'll work. I went ahead and sped this up because I'm just removing supports and filing a little bit where it's needed. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and fast forward through that.
Test fitting this, it works, it fits. Might need to be a little more sanding that I do just to get all the parts to sit and slide how they're supposed to. But other than that, it looks like it's actually decent enough. I mean, I wouldn't say it's great, but I think if we add a little oil in there or something to help it slide easier, I think it would work. I think there's a little bit more filing to do, but other than that, it looks like it fits really well. So let's put the rest together and see how it looks or see if it will go together. I guess we'll find out. So it looks like we got it to fit pretty well on here. I still have supports to remove. It's some stuff to smooth out, but it, it's, if it sits, it fits. All right, moment of truth. Looks like it fits on here. Um, let's go ahead and put this little block in. So it's not as smooth as it needs to be, but it is working. Now I have no idea if this hold up the pressure or anything. However, what I'm looking at works. And that is a big, good, big step here. Oh, I need to sand some of that still. Get the sports off the muzzle, but I can do that. I can push it forward, and the trigger pulls. So that is a good first step here. And then I lock it back. So I might have to move this piece up a little bit just to allow the allow it to catch the slide but other than that i think we're good but it looks pretty good i don't know we'll see. so yeah all right so yeah we keep working on it i guess I, I need to see if the front half fits like the barrel portion but i gotta get the rest of these sports out first so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So, so, so the internals fit. Um, I'd have to, I think there's still a bit of sanding to do in it. Some other stuff to do, but I'll do that. Push it forward. It locks, but if I close it, so it's not locked. Next thing to do is put some BBs and see if they feed into the gun properly. Into the airsoft properly. So yeah, it feeds them properly. That's, that's progress, progress, progress. Let's go. Alright. So now I'm gonna get this off of here. Better start to the morning than I thought we would have, so we are ahead. All right, so I had to do some extra filing, but it's it's getting there. Um, consistency will probably be an issue, but that's a bridge we'll cross when we come to it. I don't. I also don't know how much different it acts when it has gas compared to not having it. So yeah, and you can see it's a pretty basic body right now. It's the RE45 without the extra detail is pretty basic. But I have the parts printing for it, so we'll have a second one, or we'll have a new muzzle without the sports, because honestly I'm just too lazy to remove all these crazy sports. So that's trash. But yeah, what do you have? I also put the rail on here, so we can put a sight if we wanted to. I don't think I have any sights that I can put on here right now. But you can put an actual sight on there at one point. But yeah, so. RE45, let's go. All right, so it's coming along. Uh, 
right now, we got it so, oh, well, that doesn't normally happen. I can pull it back, it goes back far enough for me to shoot. Sometimes it gets locked back, which I don't know what that issue is, though I think I spray a bit of oil down here. Yeah. And it's smooth as butter. But you can see our barrel sticking out, so on the other one, I'm going to have to go ahead. It looks pretty centered on here, so I might just be able to put a hole through the center for the barrel. And we'll have an RE45, but I also need to add the side detail and everything like that. However, this is way ahead of where I thought I would be this morning. So we take those, and we still have about six hours to go, it looks like. So for having six hours left, we are pretty far ahead. It is 9.30 and we have our muzzle printed. I have the little grip thing about to print now. I'm um, printing a new muzzle because the top broke off. However, it is sitting how it should. And we can... Yeah, it's not glued on. So. But you know what? It is coming together. So, yeah. Alright, so it is 10 o'clock. We're still iffy about finishing the detail parts, but I do have the main body completed. The only issue is I have no idea whether this will be able to shoot or not because I have no, I don't have any of the green gas needed for shooting this because it is a gas operator. So yeah, but it looks like everything's printing. The P1P is printing the last of the parts. Other than the side details, I went ahead and painted the main body just because I had time to. And next thing to do is going to be work on the CAD design for our, our actual side details. And other than that, it looks like we'll be good. I guess we'll find out. So there's about two hours left on uh, my time window. I have the last of the design done. So the last thing to print is going to be these little side plates right here, uh, just for extra detail. Um, it doesn't have as much detail as I wanted, but for 24 hours, I think I did pretty pretty well. Um, so I have the little grip down here, or under barrel piece, printing right now, and I also have a new muzzle printing. And the last thing to print is going to be the side pieces once those are done. So that should be finishing up here on the P1P and go to our device. Uh, it should be done in about 10 minutes, so I think we'll be able to finish it today. So. Let's go. Alrighty, so it's 12.30, the parts are off the printer and I painted most of them. So it's time to put it together and see what we have. So first thing we gotta do is our bolt assembly in. I put this paint on here that's kind of a color shift. It's hard to see with the camera. Eh. And, uh, so bolt, I have to put our barrel assembly in here. I forgot to do that before the bolt. So we're gonna put that in. I scratched the paint, I'm not too worried about it. I, like I said, this is all a rush job and I might redo it after. Anyways, but I wanted to see if I could get this done. So, go ahead. I don't want to over tighten these screws right here. I'm really excited to get this done though. Next is our bolt assembly. Our little pin, I need to paint this, but I'm probably gonna reprint it in a filament that matches better anyways. So That tells me I need to loosen this a little bit to allow it to slide in easier. There we go, so now it's going all the way in. Pretty good so far. Our muzzle. Um, the barrel needs to go into the slot for, for it, but it does not want to. 
gears. Okay, so let's go ahead and one thing I had to do last time is drill this out for the last test fit. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. I'm just drilling out the barrel so that way the airsoft barrel has a little more tolerance going into the actual cosmetic one. Ta-da, we have our RE45. It's not perfect, there's more detail I can do. However, in 24 hours, that's pretty good. So it's been 23 hours and 10 minutes and our Airsoft RE45 is basically finished. It's as done as it's gonna get for uh, a 24 hour build. There's definitely more detail I'd like to add to the sides, stuff like that, um, if I had more time. But you know what, for 23 hours and 10 minutes, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, this thing's looking pretty good. I used to act, or I designed an actual Picatinny rail. Fuck. Let's take a look at where the damage is real quick so we can take this bottom half off and look right here. And this latch that's supposed to going to the back of this, snapped off, which meant this wasn't holding pressure down the way it needed to. So overall for a project that was done in 24 hours, not too bad, I wouldn't say it's great, but for 24 hours it was a decent model and we have something to go off of and know what we need to fix. So, and that's another reason that you do testing before you start selling files or you start uh, producing en masse. I want to get this right and I want to make sure I'm selling a quality product to anyone who wants the files or the actual gun itself. So, uh, yeah. I did go ahead and make a few more modifications. So here's our version two. Go ahead and load the magazine. Alrighty. I already cocked it back so there is one in the chamber. So we can go ahead, turn the safety off. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And with that, guys, our RE45 is complete. I'm gonna have uh, the files, uppercuts, and uh, uphold guns up on my Etsy here soon. So if you guys want one of these, make sure to uh, watch on Etsy for banished builds. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make an iron sight option for the Picatinny rail, which anyone who buys it can just email me and you'll get that too. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It started as just a 24 hour project. People seem really interested. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out for one week long project.